This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Today we're going to be talking about Sol Solarion, uh, Foundations of the Empire. I had a look to make sure I pronounced it correctly. Um, it is going to be coming to GameFound. I'm not sure exactly when, but if you look, uh, look it up, and I'll spell it out for you, S-O-L-A-R-I-O-N, Foundations of Empire. Uh, you can look it up on uh, and see a preview page of it. Um, it is from a company called Phantom Horizon. Now, I'm going to go down to the table, and I'm going to give you a brief overview of this. And then on the other side, we're going to talk more about it and what my thoughts are on this. Okay, um, like I said, I'm going to give you a nice brief overview so you get a good feel for it. And you can go over and check out and get more information off the page there. But I'm going to tell you something. I have always been a fan of Twilight Imperium, but I can never find uh, people to play it. Uh, because it's so large and it's so long. Matter of fact, uh, I, I did a preview, uh, I did a playthrough with uh, Sam. I drove all the way down to Miami and we played for like four hours against uh, against Tom. Um, it's going way back. What this does, and I want to make sure that you guys get an idea before you go take a look at everything and, and stuff like this. You could play this one player, and it has even better feel than Twilight Imperium for me. Um, I really like what this does. So let's go down. I'm going to explain some things, some very unique things. Um, and then what we'll do is come back and we'll talk more about it. So let's kind of show you, and, and this is where this really is something else is, well, here on this side of this board, and all this stuff is prototype. This is subject to change, but they have the starting board here. Now, you're going to notice a couple of things on here that I really want to show you. These are warp gates. This over here is a planet, but it is it, it has uh, two colonized spaces for aliens. Okay, so you're going to have to blast them off, of course, in order to get them uh, out of there. This is a barren planet, okay, and you can get a colony onto here. Uh, these numbers over here are um, end game. Uh, this is the end game uh, sector scoring victory points. So if you control this sector, you're going to get three uh, victory points for that. And this here is the sector identifier. Okay, and and where it goes. Okay, because um, on you can build your own actual solar systems, and they'll have a corresponding uh, symbol here which will tell you where this goes this particular one goes on the outside okay then you're gonna have an inner one and then you'll have the nucleus which is the heart of your galaxy um, what you're going to do is you are going to have um, uh, ships of course and you are going to use certain actions okay like we had said so you can move things in here and then hopefully if there's nothing there you'll have you know star um, a star base um, star star base in your particularly starting galaxy excuse me and you'll be able to develop your ships and they're always going to start there uh, these warp gates these double warp warp gates you are going to be able to travel from there to possibly there Okay, and that's the way I understand it in the rules at least. Um, and then these, your normal movement is always over to one sector. You are going to be trying to, again, colonize. And as you colonize and dominate certain things, you are going to take that over. I told you how combat pretty much works and, 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 and how that uh, works out and how you are going to, you, in order to win, uh, a completely sector or or be able to colonize the planet you're going to have to eradicate them off of that and by using either the command points or the particular cards that you may have to uh, generate any kind of uh, additional firepower to take things off now like I said in combat here say I want to take this planet and each planet has a different value there um, they are going to have 
um, like this one is a material planet. So you really want that because you're going to be able to generate materials. And as you generate materials, you're going to collect your resources at the beginning of your turn. Um, uh, the different planets, this one here is ancient. They provide victory points. Organic, which is your green planets. And of course, uh, where can I find a green planet here? Well, a green planet is an organic planet. A strong source for command points used to fuel the Empire's logistics and combat needs. Okay, your red planets, like I said, was material. Baron, eh, when discovered is, is removed from a planet, a, 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 you're going to have a discovery token that will sit on these planets, okay? And um, especially on the barren planets. So when you take those, you're going to flip over and you're going to get a certain thing. There, there's not much else that you can be found there. It still provides a space for a colony uh, aiding in the sector. So you can dominate that particular sector. So, so say, for instance, there's a guy here, my dreadnought. Uh, I decide to use a command point to defeat that. I can colonize that. Now I have pretty much a good control of this entire sector. And if I get another guy here, uh, over here, over onto this barren planet, now I control the sector. And it's going to really take a lot for somebody to come in and try to knock me out of there. Especially if I want to hold this for four victory points. Okay? as well as being able to generate the materials from this at the beginning of every turn. Um, at the beginning of your turns, you're going to collect, you're going to gain your resources. Then your second thing is you're going to play action. You're going to do your actions and you're going to play your cards. Okay. Uh, you're going to be able to purchase stuff and so forth and so on. And then you'll end your turn where you could possibly recycle stuff, draw up new cards, gain any kind of sector bonuses that you, you're going to be able to uh, uh, generate and you know continually whittle down that um the uh the uh act cards because you'll clean all those cards off that board that you saw that i had and then you will take more and you will add those there and be able to purchase those as well uh, a lot of depth a lot of really unique stuff that's going on here um, again, I, I wasn't able to explain everything, but you know, these boards are absolutely beautiful. This, uh, this, uh, the way they have this so far, and again, you're trying to get victory points and credits, of course, uh, you know, to build your empire even, even bigger. But on the back here, uh, there is actually empty spaces. So you can start building your own universe to, to traverse. And as you have more players, you can make it bigger and badder. And there are just so many different tiles and everything that, that will come with this. You really need to check this out at GameFound. Uh, and this is really, really, I think, something special that I think you'll really, really enjoy. So let's go up top and get my final thoughts on this and then get on out of here. The thing I love about this is first of all the detail of the, the the tiles the tiles are absolutely detailed and they're they're beautiful i love that there's a couple planets on there that you can actually um you, you know if there's aliens on there you, you know you push them out you get your colony on there um i love combat how simple it is okay cards you know basically intercept scepters are, are are you know do one damage uh dreadnoughts do two damage but cards modify it so if you think you have your planet protected and then here comes a dreadnought know that he knows what you got and that he may have something else but he doesn't know what you have to maybe back that up um uh you know the fight for control um and then there's you know the the three ages that really work very very well for this um and 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 scoring victory points i think is just a really cool thing on how you're going to go about this because after the first age you can get out to a big jump and then all of a sudden you you know people notice that you or or you know notice that you, that that you're kind of taking a lead and then all of a sudden people start ganging up on you a little bit um, but then there's the different types of planets, uh, the organic, the material, the exelodite, uh, which, which if you control a couple of those, you're going to jump up and victory points at the end of the game. 
the other thing is you got to look out for is uh, once somebody puts out all their the people in their colonies the game will end after the last person goes and that also adds a little bit of tension because you're watching and you're saying oh well he's got a bunch of people colonized on a bunch of different planets he's getting low on colonists i have to do something and send some of those back to his his pool there uh, you know, you may be in age age two and somebody's got a big jump. There is a way to rebalance and there's a constant power struggle. And everything is very balanced in this and, and, and very well. As well as you are, are, are building, you know, you have a deck builder built into it. Like I showed you, you know, the cards, you know, you're going to start with your starting deck of cards. And then, you know, you're going to be purchasing technologies. And those get added to your discard and then reshuffled in. Now you start building your engine to, to conquer the universe. Very well put together. Very well done. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. I can't wait for it to get done. Uh, Phantom Horizon is a, a very good company. And I'm, I'm telling you right now, they're going to put out a masterpiece. Okay. Uh, especially if it's anything that, you know, like, like, like this prototype that they sent me. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be on GameFound, and I really think that, that you should too. So definitely check this out. This is something special. And if you're a space nut like me, um, you are absolutely going to love this game. And, and, and I do mean love this game. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon, everybody. This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com.